It's a DUI Choose You an Adventure Part 52, and you are absolutely right. He does not believe you whatsoever. You had a couple things to drink. He asked you. How much have you had to drink tonight? And you said. Not a thing, officer. Nothing. Which was a lot. When he asked you. Just so I know that you're good to drive, would you mind stepping out for a field sobriety test? You declined, which was a good idea because you don't want to be doing those field gymnastic things in front of your car. But then he asked you. Would you mind blowing into this portable breathalyzer? And you thought if you blew below the limit, it would help you. I don't know what you're thinking there, but if it showed any alcohol whatsoever, and it did, you are a liar. Now his investigation has been going and everything you've been doing or saying has been going into his mental notebook that is saying, I am going to arrest this person. So congratulations, you are getting arrested for a DUI. I'm sorry, but that's just the way it's going down. I've seen it hundreds of times. I read probably close to a thousand case stories. That's what's happening here. Now, this is the important part. Keep your mouth shut. This is the moment where most people bury themselves in court to get convicted. Because even if you weren't over the limit and you're getting arrested, you could start adding more and more and more to the evidence. So all you're going to do is stop talking. If he wants you out of the car to arrest you, Get out of the car, do not argue. Call 1-800-NO-CUFFS, let them deal with all this. If you're not impaired over the limit and you've exercised your rights, he will be in the wrong and you have a very good chance of this not being a DUI conviction. So, call your lawyer, listen to the officer, get out of the car.